Hello everyone and welcome to a video which is a little bit different than they normally are. In this video I will be replacing the battery on both of my iPhone 6s devices. One of them, the one I use for the battery uh, test videos, is at 88%, so it's time to be changed. The other one actually at 100%, but it has an issue, as I will show you here. So let's go into the battery setting of uh, these two devices. And as you can see, this one, iOS 12.1.4, uh, the 6S on the left, is at 88%. And if you connect the phone to 3U tools, you will see that it is also confirmed at 88% by that tool. I will put a link for the tool in the description. So let's look at iOS 12.2. Uh, as you can see the battery says service so this is a fairly new battery I put into the device apparently uh, the battery I bought was not compatible with the, the health battery health monitor within iOS but as you can see from 3U tools it's actually at 100% with only three sorry four charge times to the battery so I was able to find new batteries that was actually working with the battery health uh, feature of iOS uh, 12 so I'll be replacing the batteries in both of these devices. So uh, first I will replace uh, the device that has iOS 12.2 installed on it. Uh, do not follow my video to replace your own batteries. There are much better videos out there showing you how to do this, but uh, let's get it done. So the battery has been replaced, uh, but it doesn't turn on, so I'll have to charge it and let it sit there for a few hours. So battery is now uh, up and running, the device is at 100% uh, charge, battery life 100% and charge times 0 times. So all good for the iOS 12.2 device. So again, time to replace the battery in the iOS 12.1.4 device. Uh, again, do not follow my videos for this. There are much better ones out there on the web. I'll link a few in the video description, but uh, let's get started.
this is quite satisfying actually just to see how far you can pull this. Again, the device is finished, it's powered on, but uh, it will need to charge to 100% to be able to show us uh, the battery health. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that and check it with 3U tools. And as confirmed by 3U tools, the battery life is now 100%, zero charge times. So the iOS 12.1.4 device is now ready to go. So now both devices are charged to 100% and let's just go into the battery health uh, feature of iOS and uh, confirm that they are at, indeed at 100%. And there you have it, 100% on both devices. So let's run some benchmark tests on these new devices, or not new devices, but devices with new batteries, just to see if it has improved any. I don't think it has since performance was not impacted on the devices before, but uh, let's do it anyway. And as always, let's start with Geekbench. As you can see the results here are very close to those we saw before we changed the batteries but a little bit faster on the multi-core score. So let's uh, get going on n 2 And as you will notice, uh, the scores are pretty close to what we saw before. Uh, but if you notice, the battery on the iOS 12.2 Beta 4 has uh, gone to 98%, while iOS 12.1.4 is still at 100%. Interesting. If we go into the CPU Dasher tool, uh, we'll see we're still running at full speed on the CPU frequency. So let's also run the HTML5 test. There you have it, iOS 12.2 uh, beta 4 is a bit slower than iOS 12.1.4, very normal when you look at the other tests on the other devices as well.
So that's it for this video. I will probably be replacing the batteries of my iPhone 6s as well. They're still performing as expected, but uh, it's nice with 100% uh, batteries that are identical for both devices. So take care and see you on the next video.